Hello friends, my name is Clayton Phillips from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada and I'm shooting a quick tour video on the all new Solitude 380 FLS. This is going to be a quick video, we're not going to get into all the nitty gritty details of the product but more of a high level for the people that don't want to necessarily go super deep. If you're looking for a super deep walkthrough, we just shot a 58 minute video on this particular model getting into all the details. We probably missed a few things but again if you're looking for the quick tour, watch this video. If you want to get super detailed, uh, check out our other video, it's the extended tour video. So Grand Design Solitude 380 FLS, this is a re do on the famous front living room floor plan and Grand Design's done just a phenomenal job with it in so many things addressing some of the concerns that you typically would get with a front living room and when we get to the back of the RV you'll notice right away so again again the Solitude is the flagship product for Grand Design it was the first brand uh, that they decided to come to the marketplace with it's a wide body design fifth wheel it's as wide as a diesel pusher as wide as a toy hauler so you get a lot of floor plan flexibility a lot of unique features with this particular product and it is their flagship product so again folks come on down to our dealership here at Woody's RV World in Leduc we're 15 minutes south of Edmonton if you're coming from BC Saskatchewan wherever we want to take care and do the best we can for you so again we're gonna jump into this uh, real high level so this particular trailer uh, folks is um, 41 feet 5 inches in length um, wide body design we option in the uh, pre-wire for your generator up front so if you want to drop in the uh, 5500 watt LP generator we optioned it in on this model which we do on most of our solitudes um, right up front here you have the rotoflex pin box which really helps create an unbelievable tow can really help reduce the amount of chucking and and that sort of thing that you get when you're pulling a great big fifth wheel like this going down the highway so um, weights and measures on this particular model um, dry weight on this particular trailer is 15,120 pounds, giving you a GVWR of 16,800 pounds, giving you a cargo carrying capacity of 1,620 pounds. Okay, unbelievable capacity, capacity for your storage, uh, the weight of the trailer. This is a heavy trailer, so you need the right truck to do it. Check your specifications, all of those things. Um, pass-through storage compartment this has a drop frame Lippert Z rated chassis so you have a seamless flat floor from one side to the other and because this is a wide body trailer five inches wider than most you actually get a lot more square footage overall because of that okay check it out all aluminum tubing more aluminum studs than most other products out there fully bead welded together super strong very lightweight uh, they're doing it right Nautilus P1 water utility panel this operates all the water inside the trailer folks makes it very very simple to operate this also bypasses your hot water heater so no put more pulling a false panel off to access your hot water heater when you want to go winterize it okay uh, also a water pump switch as well so you can turn it on and off your hot water or your water pump uh, without having to go inside the trailer whole house water filtration system you've got the low point drains all up inside this particular trailer this is a heated compartment just like your pass through so they're setting it up really right to be able to use it in in colder weather use so um, this has the um, six point hydraulic leveling system on it as well so it's going to level out the trailer folks one thing to note because this is a wide body trailer um, those jacks sit out a little bit wider than your eight foot wide models what's really nice about that is stability when you're parked and set up it's a heavier trailer it's more it's wider it's more stable less chance of bouncing around inside as you're using it and walking around so okay main rail is 12 inches tall most manufacturers in the trailer like this are using a 10 inch tall main rail and then grand design uses a 10 inch drop frame as well versus the 8 inch that some of the other manufacturers are using okay fresh water capacity on this particular model folks is 93 gallon fresh water capacity your gray and black capacity each are 106 gallons okay fully enclosed and heated underbelly giving you an R45, so industry leading R values in their floors. Okay, it has a double bat insulation in there which achieves that R45 in their product. So that's the solitude. Uh, coming down the uh, driver's side of the trailer here, folks. Again, addressing some of the concerns that front living rooms typically have had with minimal exterior storage. Grand Design has elevated the main bathroom and bedroom in this particular floor plan, giving you that unbelievable storage that you've seen in that 375 RES 
in the front living room of the Solitude folks. And I gotta tell you, this is absolutely fantastic, the amount of storage, pass-through storage. If you have a seasonal site, I see this going on a lot of seasonal sites out there where people maybe aren't even dragging it down the road. It's almost like a little cottage on a real nice seasonal site by a lake someplace. So they do give you the um, slide out storage tray. This is a more ride storage tray. It's rated for 800 pounds. So any gear that you have in the pass through storage compartment that's a little deeper makes it a lot easier. You can get in and out, pull it out to you and access that. So um, because you got a higher roof profile, um, you know, taller ceilings inside, but also you get the pre-wire for your rear vision camera. We do recommend the observation system, which for a trailer this long, we'd recommend you invest in that money. Uh, just the camera hooks in there, comes with a monitor that you can put in the, the cab of your truck and really makes for changing lanes, backing up, all those sorts of things a whole lot nicer uh, when you're towing the trailer down the road. But again, look at all the aluminum tubing that Grand Design uses, all high grade aircraft aluminum, bead welded, fully bead welded, double side not just screwed together or single-sided or tack welded grand designs really go on the extra mile uh, with this particular product like they do with all their brands okay so you'll note that the um, you've you got some light underneath the trailer it has the ground clearance lighting there's a switch up underneath the overhang of your trailer which you can flip that switch and activate that light underneath the trailer it activates your docking light up front on the front cap and then that really nice strip lighting right on the front cap so all framed in window openings with Grand Design product. That's with all of their brands. Every single trailer they build has framed in window openings. Okay, so clamp ring windows. Why can they put in such big windows? One, they put the structure in the sidewall to support a big window. They're not afraid to spend the money on those things. Plus, they're not afraid to spend the money on a big window. Big windows cost more money. They want to give you more, more openness on the inside of the trailer, more livability, all of those things. So... And we're just going to shoot back here on this 380 FLS 2019 model that just arrived to our Woody's RV World Leduc dealership. You can see that LED strip lighting up front with the docking light, that type of thing. So again, this is the quick tour video, folks. So we're not touching on all the details. If you want to go deeper, check out our um, extended tour video that will be up on YouTube as well. All your aluminum tubing, battery disconnect switch, Lippert Z rated chassis, seamless flat floor does come with the central vac for 2019 folks you can get the portable speaker to bring the speaker out to your uh, campfire so you don't have to jack your exterior speakers on the outside wall uh, just makes you know if you're sitting by the campfire just makes it a little bit nicer um, you do have the uh, ram assist step on this so i kind of equate it to a laptop lid you can kind of stop it wherever you want if you're a smaller person not as strong lifting and, and dropping that uh, step down makes it a whole lot nicer okay um, again, Grand Design three-year structural warranty. They were the first manufacturer to come out with the three-year structural warranty. How did they do that? One, they built the product to support the three-year structural warranty. Okay, a lot of manufacturers now have come out with a three-year structural warranty. The difference is that they didn't necessarily change how they built the product. All they did was raise the price of the, uh, of the trailer to accommodate the influx of warranty concerns. Grand Design's building the value in. They're not necessarily just bolting it on. So WeatherTech insulation, Arctic insulation package. So top down, R40 in your main roof, okay? You have a two and a quarter inch sidewall on this trailer, which gives you an R11 in your sidewall. Um, your main floor, or so your floor is R45. Grand Design also insulates underneath their upper deck as well, outside the trailer, and then they enclose it in. Some manufacturers, that's where they cut corners, they don't insulate there, Grand Design does. R24 on their slide floors as well. And then you've got R7 on your exterior walls of your slide outs in the roof as well. So really exceptional R values in this particular product, folks. Heating, you have a 5,000 BTU fireplace, which blows out a lot of heat as well, which is really nice, paired with a 35,000 BTU furnace. So really, really good heating capability. Your AC system in this is the Stealth AC system, folks. It's the most efficient AC system on the market. I'd put it up against everybody. Is it the quietest? No, but it's the most efficient and it achieves what an air conditioning system is meant to do in an RV. Cool it, cool it quickly and hold the cool, making it super efficient. And they use the Coleman mock 
uh, air conditioning system, which is the most efficient compressor on the market uh, in the being used in the RVs today. So Thomas Payne theater seating, furniture throughout. This is the Java interior. It's the darker leather. You can get linen interior uh, if you so choose to have something a little bit lighter. The only thing that changes is the furniture. The dinette seats stay the same, the wallboard, the countertops, the flooring all stays the same. The only thing that changes is your sofas and your theater seating if you want something to be a little bit lighter as well. So this has a drop down television in it as well, folks, with a great big windshield in behind. So if you want to tuck that TV out of the way and bring the outside in, get opening up the front of the trailer, you can definitely do that. The other thing, being a wide body design, if you have family that likes to come with you, folks, camping, uh, both these tri-fold couches are queen size beds. They fold over and you have a walkway down the middle. A lot of the narrow body trailers that are front living room folks, either the two couches meet in the middle, which you can't walk around to the other side unless you cl climb over, or depending on what kind of couch they're using, um, you can only fold out one or the other. The cool thing about this is you've got two queen size beds, and then there's a curtain right here that will enclose all the way across the top, transforming this into a front bedroom if you need it to, uh, you know, for the odd time that you have guests, grandkids, that sort of thing coming with you. So again, Grand Design DNA item, they try to limit the amount of carpet in the trailer where possible without sacrificing, maybe puncturing a hole in the floor. And what I mean by that is that on your dinette, where your dinette is, they do a carpet floor. Some manufacturers have come out with linoleum there. Be careful. Those chairs, they have pointy legs on them. Depending on how much you're sitting at your dinette, that sort of thing, you don't want to poke a hole in your floor. That's why Grand Design isn't doing the linoleum there. So uh, again, super tall slide boxes, no cable slides in this. Your main slides here in your kitchen area are hydraulic. All the other slides are electric, uh, but super tall slide boxes, like six foot eight here. Okay, so tons and tons of headroom. How do they, why do they do that? Again, opening up the interior of the trailer, but it gives them the ability to put in gigantic windows. So massive, massive windows, okay? Tons of storage. You do get the island with the great big sink. 18 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator, largest gas electric refrigerator on the market. This is a residential inspired kitchen. So residential inspired range top and oven. Real nice high look, high end look. You got the sparker button there you can push. No more sparker, no more crawling on your hands and knees to light the pilot light at the back of the oven. You turn it on with the dials. So super easy, not having to crawl on your hands and knees anymore. Convection stainless steel microwave to tie in the high end look of this kitchen. Done a phenomenal job with this. My buddy Nate G, Rob Groover down at the factory. Love you guys. You guys build such a great product. Backlit pantry, okay? Great lights, you got awesome drawers there. Cool part, I'll say this. Number one selling floor plan in motorized today, bath and a half layout. You get it in a fifth wheel now. Okay, so you get a little bathroom here on your main deck. So it's nice about that is if you have friends or family with you, they're not going up into your main bathroom. You know, you keep some personal effects in a lot of cases in there. And this is just a nice little cheater bathroom to be able to, uh, you know, do your business and, and uh, prevent people from having to go up into your main bathroom. Uh, you also get the uh, fantastic Max fan uh, with rain sensor up there as well. So if that lid is open and it starts to rain, that lid will automatically close. Absolutely fantastic. And you do get it in your kitchen as well. Okay, uh, given lots of detail here, going a little longer than I'd like, but again, this is a great big trailer with lots to talk about. Going up to the upper deck here for your bedroom, tons and tons of storage here as well. Hanging storage on either side. You got the television there. We optioned in the uh, king size bed on this. You can get a queen if you so choose. Okay. And we'll just shoot back around here. You got the real nice barn style doors, no swinging doors. Makes it a lot easier to, you know, transition in and out of the trailer through the different areas uh, throughout the RV. But again, lots of drawers. You get the flip up jewelry storage here. Missed that in the long video. Uh, again, great big bathroom. <clears throat> You do get the washer dryer prep here. Uh, so if you want to do a stackable unit, you can. All the plumbing is right there. The electrical combo unit, keep the hanging storage above. Lots of flexibility with that. Uh, and then they've gone to the uh, great big fiberglass Encore shower surround. So it's got a lower transition point. You do get a little bit of a tub down beneath there. So if you've got grandkids you want to wash off, kids, a little puppy, that sort of thing, you can get the job done. It's not just a shower pan, it's a decent little bathtub. Fully adjustable shower head, double vanities, tons of storage. Look at the storage. Look at the counter space in here, too. Fantastic. And then 
not a man for being in front of the camera. So anyway, we'll just jump out of the way, but a great big massive vanity mirror that's all backlit. So real nice, sharp, high-end look. And then you've got the uh, storage here. So again, Clayton Phillips, Woody's RV World Leduc, doing a quick tour. Not so quick anymore. We're broaching up, oh, broke 15 minutes. So uh, thanks for hanging on for this video. Come by our dealership at Woody's RV World Leduc. We're 15 minutes south of Edmonton. Our phone number is 780-986-1234. Subscribe, like, comment. Uh, we want to hear from you. We want to come alongside you in your RV journey and, and helping you pick out the right RV. And uh, again, if we don't have what you're looking for, we wouldn't expect you to buy. Um, that's who we are here. We want, we're educators. We want to teach you about the products and uh, just be there to help take care of you. So thanks again for watching. Clayton Phillips, Woody's RV World Leduc. Take care. Happy camping.